Hello and welcome on this new tutorial. Today we will see how to use the blend space to blend between animation. First we will see how to use the blend space 1D where we can just use the speed blend between few animation. Then we will see the normal blend space where we can blend stuff by speed and direction. You will see everything that you need to know on blend space. So let's go and let's dive into Unreal. Okay, so first of all we will see how to use the blend space 1D. It will be a blend space where we will blend animation on one axis, on one variable. First of all we will go into our mesh into our character. I'm going to go into my animation folder and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this blend space. To create a blend space 1D, I will need to go into animation and we need to go into legacy. And we can find here the blend space 1D. We create one, we will select our skeleton. We will use the mannequin. I'm going to change the name to BS for blend space and I'm going to do a walk and run animation and now we can open it. When we open our blend space we have different uh, that we can see. First is the asset browser on the right where we can see all of our animation that are available that we can use into our blend space. Now we have some details on the left corner and we can go into the horizontal axis and we'll be able to name our axis. We can see that our axis is there. For now, it's none. We'll change this name and reset speed. So we'll blend the walk and the run animation with the speed. So if the speed is, for example, at 50, we will do a walk animation. And if it goes above 50, it will blend between the walk and the run animation until it gets to the speed of the run animation and then it will just do the run animation. We will change our maximum axis value to something like 400. And now we can in here import our animation. I'm gonna go and find something called walk. Get this animation and we can place it. We can press shift to get stuck on the axis. You can see that we have made a grid and we have four divisions on the grid. So we have the first at zero, then 100, 200, 300, 400. And by pressing shift, I can move it around this. If I want to go, for example, in here to somewhere like 50, I can place it there. Then I can change the speed to be exactly at 50. For example, we will do the walk until the, until the speed at 50. And then we will go and get the run animation, this one. And we will put it, for example, at 150. To be sure there is no issue, I'm going to put the run until the end. I'm going to put it at 400. And now we can see we have our blend space which is created. From 0 to 50 it will be the walk animation. From 50 to 150 we will blend between the walk and the run depending of where we are. And then from 150 to 400 we will keep being into the run animation. To see what's going on I can press control and now I can change the speed and see directly how it looks. For example for there I'm between the wet 50 I'm just doing the run animation. If I go past 50 and going towards the 150, I'm going towards the run animation and I'm blending more and more to the run animation. And then when I pass the 150, I'm just doing the run animation until the end. This is basically how the blend space works. Something pretty cool to see is that if I press Ctrl, I can move the speed to test it out and if I press ALT we can see the weight of each animation. We can see that where I'm at speed 100 I'm between the walk and the run animation. So both of the animation they're both firing with the weight with half of their weight. And the more I go toward the run the weight of the run get bigger and bigger until 1 and when it's at 1 we're just doing the run animation. This is a simple way to test your blend space. That's pretty cool. So that's that was the basic blend space. That was the blend space of one dimension. Save and close this. And now we'll go into the blend space two dimension. To create one, we will right click and go to animation. And we can see in here, we have the blend space. Create it, we choose the skeleton that we want. With this BS walk, we do a walk run any direction. And now, as you can see, if I go into the A underscore standing, 
and underscore walk. You can see that I have four animations. I have the back, forward, left, and right. We'll open them, see how they look. For example, this one goes back, this one goes forward. We have the left and the right. So we need to blend between these four animations with the direction and the speed because we will need to blend between the walk animation and the run animation and blend into the direction also. Maybe a little bit more complicated. Let's go back to our blend space. And now we can see in here we have two different axes. You have the X axis and the Y axis. First we'll go into the horizontal axis and we will change the name to direction. This will be the direction of where is the character going. If the character is going on the left then we will need to use the animation that goes on the left. And so to make it easy we will go from minus 180 to 180. It should be the 360 of the rotation of the character so it should be easy to use. In the middle we will have the zero direction which will be the forward and we will have minus 90 plus 90 which will be the left and the right and the 180 or minus 180 will be the back and we can choose the vertical axis to be the speed and the speed will go from 0 to 400. Okay now we can see that we have our axis which look good. I will go back to my search asset and go back to the e underscore standing underscore walk and now we have our four animations. So we need to place them onto our blend space. So the forward will take it and press shift to stay on the grid. We will set it up to be at zero zero. Then we will need the left animation. So we will press shift and place it at minus 90. We'll get the right place it at plus 90. And the back we will put it at minus 180 and plus 180. So now if I press Control, I can move the direction. And if I go at minus 90, we can see that I'm blending from the forward to the left animation. If I keep going, I will go into the back animation. Same for the other side. I will go into the right animation and then to the back animation. Now we need to do the same thing with the run animation. So I'm gonna go and get my standing run. That I have back, forward, left, and right. I'm gonna start with the forward. I will press shift. I will click on it, press shift, then I will drag it, for example, at the speed 100. So forward will be at the position 0. We'll get the left one, put it at 100 on the left. Use the back one for the minus 180. The right for the plus 90. And at 180, we'll use the back animation. You can see that the blend space is making some points and it creates some blending. For example, if I'm here, we'll blend between the walk and run animation, but also it can blend between the left between the right and our animation. So that's pretty cool. If I press Alt, we can see that the weight of each animation is recalculating with our speed and our direction. Then I have the last thing which will be for the sprint. Ending underscore sprint. I have the same, I have back, forward, left and right. I will start with the forward. I will take the forward and pull it at 300. I will also put it at the end and I put this on the left in here and also at the end, right in here, oops I put, just make sure we only have one, put the right one in here and at the end and we put the back here, there, at minus 180 and at 400 speed. And now we have our blend space. And if I start roaming around, we can see that I'm into the run animation. If I keep going forward, I'm going into the sprint animation, which is kind of the same animation. It's just the animation is going a little bit faster. The legs are going a little bit faster. We can see that now I'm going into the left. If I stop sprinting, I will go back to the run. If I go even slower, I will go into the wall. There's an issue there. It's supposed to be right in here. Okay, that's perfect. We have the backward, which do the same. And we can pretty much go everywhere we want. 
And we can see that everything is blending perfectly. And now I can use that into my animation blueprint. I will go into my animation blueprint and I will just first show you how to get the direction. I will show you how to get the direction first. Because we need to get the ground speed, which will be this, and the direction. To get the ground speed, we will first get the velocity from our movement component. The movement component is the character movement of our character. Then from this movement component, we will get the velocity. And from this velocity, we can do a vector length x and y to get the ground speed. This will be the speed that we will use into our blend space. And then we need the direction. To get the direction, we will get our character and we will get the actor rotation. And from the velocity, we, will we can use the node calculate direction, which will take the velocity and the base rotation of the mesh to calculate the direction. So this direction will be from minus 180 to 180 and this speed will be from 0 to any speed, it depends on the speed. But for our brain space, the maximum is 400. If it goes above 400, we will just use the highest. Uh, it will be the sprint animation from our brain space. Now we can go into our anime graph. And if I go into my locomotion, you can see that I have my uh, idle animation and then, yeah, then I have the walk and run. And so into my walk and run state, we can use our new blend space. If I get the walk and run blend space, we just need the speed so we can get the ground speed of our character. We can just put it here. And if I put it there, now we are using the blend space. And we should be using this blend space and blend between the animation depending of the speed that we put inside. We are not going to use this one because it's not very good for our character, for the one I'm doing. And if I use the walk run any direction, if I plug it in, I have direction and speed. I will put the ground speed into the speed and the direction will be this float. I will compile and save. And now if I launch the game, now we can see the character is doing when I'm going on the right, it's using the right animation of the blend space. If I'm going on the left, it's using the left animation of the blend space. The direction change which animation we are using and the speed change which animation with the speed we are using. So here it is. This is how we use the blend space. And that's it for today. It was a very small video, but you saw everything that you need to know about blend space. It's very useful to blend between multiple animation, especially when you need to change the animation depending on the direction of the character. If you like this video and you got everything that you need to know on blend space, please leave a like and subscribe to not miss the next video. And I will see you on the next one.